UConn voters say yes to two bond proposals for the school district totaling nearly $200 million, and that's a new record for UConn public schools. Good news for the district. Jordan Daphnis live in UConn with the excitement for UConn public schools. Jordan, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Leaders here at UConn Public Schools are calling this a big win, not only for students and staff, but also for the community. Superintendent Jason Simroth was overwhelmed with gratitude after the results came in yesterday. Hey, I am so thrilled that the community has passed this with the 70%. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> Uh, I thank you for the kids. I thank you for the parents. I thank you for the staff. And UConn voters approved two proposals worth more than $194 million. The district says there will be no tax increase because this bond picks up where an old tax left off. The district says this money will be used to fund several major projects and upgrades, including everything from textbooks to new performing arts center and college and career center. Also, they're going to remodel all of the elementary and middle school classrooms, plus more. The high school component of it will include the 1500 seat auditorium that will actually be on our campus. Currently it's located over at the middle school campus. And the superintendent says these new facilities could also mean more sales tax revenue for the community with the ability to hold more events. And these bonds needed a 60% approval rate in order to pass and both of them got more than 70% approval. Live this morning, Jordan Daphnis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. Thank you so much, Jordan.